Rockwood family says they're trying to figure out what to do next after their insurance company denied them coverage three times for treatments they say their 17-year-old daughter needs. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us tonight. And Jason, this even got to an insurance review board, right? Yeah, that's right, Vicki. It was at a review board in Chattanooga where the family was denied the third time. And tonight, the family says their daughter needs physical therapy treatments and she needs them soon. I was earning straight A grades. I was doing lots of activities at school. Savannah Bustos remembers what life was like just one year ago. I was joining the swim team, doing theater work, singing my choir. In many ways, Savannah is a typical teen. She can wheel herself on the wood floor. Carpet's difficult. <laughs> but now her mornings also include. This is Savannah's medicine. This is her morning pillbox, and this is her evening pillbox. These are medications Savannah is taking for her CIDP. And now that we're backing off the steroids. A nervous system disorder that progressively weakens sensitivity. In less than a year, it's now confined her to this wheelchair. I can't get dressed by myself or go to the bathroom or take a shower or get up out of bed or get in and out of the car. While her parents say their insurance has paid for things like her wheelchair and the medications. She only had 20 physical therapy visits. They've already used up the number of physical therapy sessions their insurance will cover. To get well, she needs to do this physical therapy. And that's what her parents say Savannah truly needs. I could be confined to this wheelchair for the rest of my life if I don't get physical therapy. Now. Doctors have told her she may become permanently disabled. When you're disabled like this and you don't move your hands and your muscles, they become stiff and you can't move them. Recently, their father, who's a doctor himself, traveled to Chattanooga to appear in front of an insurance appeal board. My husband shed tears in front of this committee. After being denied coverage twice, they were denied a third and final time. I don't want her to be disabled her whole life because her insurance company wouldn't pay for her physical therapy. Savannah's parents have taken her out of some physical therapy treatments until they can find a way to afford them with or without insurance, focusing on the good days while making it through the bad ones. This is a last resort, absolutely. Now, Savannah's family hopes that with the right physical therapy, Savannah may one day walk again. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD.